This episode of The Arena, a multi-platform gaming news podcast, Extra Take, is sponsored by, well, of course, all of you amazing patrons. Thank you for your support, and without it, we wouldn't be able to do this. Now, on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Arena Extra Take. This is episode six. I'm your host, Expat, along with my co-host of the Arena, multi-platform gaming news podcast, Burley of Burleyman Gaming. And as he is also known as in the great white north, Mr. Canada. How you doing, Burley? <laughs> doing good, doing good. Yes, I have met, I have uh, many <laughs> nicknames. It used to be third wheel for a time. <laughs> Uh, I, I like Mr. Yeah. Canada better, man. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, how's the weather out there, man? Uh, you were telling me a little bit before we started recording that uh, the temperature's starting to come down there now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's uh, currently 11 degrees where I live at. Nice. It's nice. I don't have air conditioning or fans on. I just have my one living room window open. And nice. I love it. And nice. Like this, this morning when I went to go for my morning walk. Mm-hmm. I got up, looked at the temperature on my phone, and it was like a like like you're just like sobering up. You're like, what? That's the temperature? Because <laughs> that's what happened to me yesterday. And I'm like, okay, I can't go out. I could go out in shorts, but it's like ah, I should put sweats on and yeah, yeah. put a longer shirt just in case. And right. I'm glad I didn't in the case this morning because there was quite the breeze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, out here in Japan, it's uh, the past few days. It's been raining and a lot cooler about. 17 degrees in the evening so yeah nice and cool with a nice breeze so uh uh i, I wanted to ask you real quick too uh weather wise uh the remnants of hurricane ida did that affect your area like it affected new york and uh new jersey and when we, we got i think we got nothing we got like a uh, um i shouldn't say nothing um on <laughs> sunday we got a thunderstorm I think that's all we got it by the time it came to my neck of the woods. It was just mm -hmm. like a, we got a thunderstorm. Yeah. So all of our uh, viewers and listeners out there that uh, live in the East Coast that, that might have been affected by the remnants of uh, uh, Hurricane Ida, we, uh, we're all thinking about you. So uh, please take care. Yeah. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to be talking about the Iki Island expansion of the, uh, the Ghost of Tsushima director's cut. Uh, so uh, Burley has finished that. It's going to be a spoiler-free discussion, though. So yes. uh, don't worry about any spoilers. We're just going to be uh, having a spoiler-free discussion. And uh, Burley, you actually uh, gave us some uh, some clips from uh, some of your gameplay from the Iki Island expansion. Do you want to uh, discuss those a little bit for our uh, viewers and listeners? Yeah, happy to. Uh, yeah, I recorded some uh, footage uh, so that way we... We could show it off, and that way we're not just cutting to trailer footage all, all the time. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, I figured just I'm going to state a first little thing with Iggy Island. Mm -hmm. If you have not played, you can go access Iggy Island if you've played Ghost Shima when you get to Act 2. Act 2, Act okay. Two. Yeah, I, I was going to ask that because I have I have finished the campaign uh for the, the the main story in ghost of tsushima so i was wondering exactly when could you 
pick up on the Iki Island expansion. So I see. I highly, highly recommend finish the story of Goshima because I a because I like the story a lot, but right. b when you do when you do the Iki Island story, if you do it after you've beaten the main story of uh, Goshima, yeah. you get, you're gonna get a little more, and things will make a little like you'll get a little more winks and nods. I see. If you've beaten the story, and you'll you can go ah. Mm-hmm. So I, I highly highly recommend you go do beat the campaign first. Now, how is the the combat? when you start the Iki Island expansion, are the the enemies more powerful or are they just as powerful as they were in the original story? Pa- power wise, they're the same. Okay. But there are different, you have new enemy types. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm going to, sp- you have a new enemy type. I won't say the class name or anything, but you'll see it in some of the footage. Okay. You'll see a guy with a spear Mm-hmm. And they're chanting. Mm-hmm. And what if they you're gonna want when you get in these battles, you want to take them out first because I what see. they do is they buff all the other Mongols and they'll those Mongols will constantly attack. So you're mm-hmm. either gonna be stuck in parrying, mm-hmm. really parrying a lot, or dodging like crazy. Mm-hmm. So you you, you want to take these guys out. Yeah. Well uh, quick. Also now some of the Mongols you'll encounter will not just have the one weapon type. Mm-hmm. So, and some of the footage, um, I think it's when in the footage when we're, when I'm going in the fort there, mm-hmm. you'll have, you'll have a Mongol will have a sword, start cut, big sword, tried attacking you, mm-hmm. but then pull out a shield. So now you got to change your stance and then okay. change to a spear. So you got to change your stance again. So it's, you can't be. You can still be in one stance, but it's really wanting you to get changing on the fly fast. With I see, chances, mm. which is which was very refreshing. Like I know you have to do that in the main game, but like you're changing it much faster here. I see. I see. So, so tell us what are the some of the differences in the environment uh, as you're playing the Iki Island expansion. Um. So. The the island Iki Island is a little bit different than Tsushima. I haven't explored every nook and cranny. Yeah, but you've got a little bit different areas, and it's not the same little side activities in the main in main Tsushima. You now okay. you do have shrines. They're not mm-hmm. the same as the uh, uh, the fox shrines. Okay, this time you have like I, I found two of them. You've got the monkey shrine and the cat shrine. Okay. And what happens there is there's caged animals. You got to kill the Mongols there. And then mm-hmm. what you do is there'll be a little spot. Uh, Jin will go sit there and play his flute. And while he's doing that, you have to take the, the dual sets in my case, because I played it on PS5, mm-hmm. and do motion control and get the little like a ball in between the things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is as neat as it is. I, that did not need to be motion control. That could have just been, in my opinion, could have just been me using the thumbstick or uh-huh. just doing some button presses. I don't know what. Like, I get it because they want to be like, ooh, you can do something with dual sense and motion. Right, right. But, so why don't you explain for us a little bit, Burley, about uh, some of these clips here that you uh, that you made of some of the gameplay. So one, the first one was what of... Uh, of an archery challenge, right? Yes. So that's a new type of challenge, this archery challenges. As mm-hmm. you can see in the footage, I'm not very good with archery. In this <laughs> game. Yeah. That's the thing. I suck. I, I suck. Like <laughs> archery, I know if you're talented, archery in the Goshima is great if you're mm-hmm. good at it. I mm-hmm. suck at it. I'll, I'll, I, I can admit it, and you can see in the footage. So, yeah. <laughs> But you yeah. have these little timed archery challenges where you have to hit all these lanterns Mm-hmm. You got to hit them in a certain amount of time, yeah. And you get you get prizes and you get charms, yeah. and charm. They they've made quite a bit of uh, new charms mm-hmm. for the game, so that way you're getting so you're getting different bonuses. So it, I did equip a few of the new charms, so you can get so it changes things up. And actually, they did bring. I couldn't show it in the footage. Mm-hmm. Um, they did bring back uh, mythic tales. So mm-hmm. if you remember that from the base game, yeah. instead of getting new techniques, uh, in the one one I did, um, you get the monkey armor. 
mm-hmm. and it changes how you play the game because it it um if you do dodging it makes your dodging and parrying mm-hmm. if you do perfect dodge or perfect parrying mm-hmm. your counters do an insane amount of damage but okay. if you screw up it's a risk versus reward you yeah. screw up you're you're gonna get comboed pretty easily yeah so I, I didn't keep the monkey armor because I suck out with a parry. <laughs> well, speaking of monkeys, I saw that, uh, yeah, in the clips that uh, you can go up and pet and uh, give food to monkeys and, uh, yeah, of course, pet cats. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're not you're not relegated just to petting foxes anymore. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You've got cats and monkeys from the shrines. Yeah. Pet. And there's also, uh, I think, uh, in your footage, you put uh, in a waterfall haiku. Yeah. Yeah. Haikus are back. Yeah. That's one of the uh, returning challenges, but mm-hmm. I figured just show off one. If they're, they're like the base game, but you're getting charms, you're getting cosmetics and stuff. Yeah. And it's it's nice to try and figure out and make a haiku and see what options you're going to get after you yeah. pick your first line. Right. And then uh, one of your uh, uh, one of the parts of the video you were showing uh, the Katayama Market. Uh, where you have to go in and uh, and take on some of the Mongols there, and uh, there's some new techniques for the horseback riding or something like that. Can you explain yes. that a little bit for us? Yeah. So I was going to liberal a uh, Mongol area. Um, the new technique, because there was rumored uh, for for a while, there was new techniques and new stance. Mm-hmm. Sadly, I haven't, unless it's a part of another tale that I haven't just gotten to yet. Mm-hmm. There is no new stance. But there is a new technique hmm. that you get early on in the Iki story, like in the first the first mission, mm-hmm. really. So you get is for your horse. It will now you can do for the cost of a uh, base cost of one resolve, your horse will charge into enemies. Okay. And you can keep holding it and draining more resolve. But the charging works great because if you do it right, you can kill right out kill enemies or get them on the ground where you can then just go up press square and suffering mm-hmm. easy kills yeah so yeah i saw in some of that in. footage uh you ran over that one guy that was pretty cool oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then inside the market you were actually on foot uh doing some uh combat uh you know yeah. with uh the mongols there and uh, jumping up on the uh on the posts and everything and taking them on taking those guys on with the spears yeah oh yeah yeah spears I, I seem to have the worst luck with parrying with spears. Uh-huh. I, I, I don't know if it's just you got to have a better sense of timing, yeah. or or what it is. Um, yeah, but yeah. But they also added for the horse. I try tried to show it off, but I, in one of the footages, it's for like three seconds. You'll see me going up to the horse, mm-hmm. and it's giving you. Uh, I think it's by triangle. You can take uh, stuff out of the horse's pack because you mm-hmm. now get. Um, your horse can now carry, as you fill up with arrows and stuff like that, your kunais and stuff, mm-hmm. after you fill up on you, you can grab them, and it'll go to your horse's inventory. So you can okay. stock up on your horse, and then in between missions, call your horse, grab some of that extra back for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a cool system. I didn't use it much, but it is a cool new added system. Yeah. Um. Another question, uh, when it comes to combat, I mean, what other uh, additional uh, skills do you get in the Iki Island expansion when it comes to combat skills? Uh, n- nothing else. Nothing. Really. Okay, it's it's yeah. so it's completely similar to the the base game then. It's similar to the base game, but because they change out how the Mongols fight and different enemy types, right? It does. It doesn't feel as repetitive. I see. Because you're changing things up on combat. I, I, I wish we would have got a new stance or a new a new uh, technique. I see. And then uh, finally, I saw in uh, in the footage that you gave for us uh, was a bamboo cutting challenge. Yep they they brought back uh, bamboo strikes. Yeah, and the bamboo it's, strikes. Hard, hard, harden your resolve so you get more. Res- it, it yeah, takes those less when you those combats are or the 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 combos are difficult in that man. Oh yeah, that yeah. Like you try. It's like I I literally I'm yeah. re looking at the controller at times because I'm like, okay, am I hitting these right? Yeah. Am I hitting yeah. these? like 
and and uh, and that's happened. That's what happened to me in the base game. So right, it's like, oh, those are back. I gotta, sh- I gotta show this off. <laughs> yeah. Without spoiling anything about the story, though, I mean, how did you feel about the the new characters that were added to the Iki Island expansion? I I like the new characters, and I really did like the new story. Mm-hmm. Um. If you if you like the base story from the from the base game, I think you'll like this. It mm-hmm. it doesn't it's not it, it's not the same. Mm-hmm. It's different, but I, I do like the kind of the story and feeling. I can't. I would love to say certain things, but it will spoil. And this is right. something I do not want to spoil the story. Right. The like the I will tell you if you've seen the trailer, the eagle that they mentioned, that character. I really like the character and what they do with the character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in the in the future uh, in other expansions that might come out for this because I, you know, of course as you know and maybe some of you out there know I I have a degree in Japanese history of course and uh I've I've talked about this game uh many times before and you know uh some of the accuracies and inaccuracies of of the game when it comes to the historical context but uh I'd love to see them go to Dazaifu because that's like the that was the main center for the military buildup for the Mongol invasions. I would love to see them, you know, in Kyushu, in the on the main island of Kyushu, uh, to see them go to Dazaifu and uh, to prepare. I mean, I mean, even in in Kyushu today, there are actual parts of the walls that that they oh. actually build up there for the Mongol invasions that are still intact. Uh, oh so, wow. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, just yeah, fragments of them, but they're still there. Um, so yeah, I would love to see them do an ex- another expansion uh, to Ghost of Tsushima and uh, focus on Dazaifu. That would that would be really cool, but uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so I was going to say the yeah. the length. Uh, I'm going to tell you the length for the story. If you're yeah. doing the story at a good pace, mm-hmm. you're probably getting about six hours wow okay yeah it, it's not a it, it's like a like longer around the same kind of length a little longer like miles morales if you're okay. if you remember that yeah yeah so so burley I'll, I'll ask you this then uh kind of a uh on the spot question for for all of our viewers and listeners out there is that six hours worth the price of the expansion yes okay Oh yeah, no, like it, that. The director's cut. I have mm-hmm. no problem spending the money mm-hmm. for that upgrade. Get it, especially if you're getting this game. Mm-hmm. Get, I know, I know they did the stupid thing of here's the upgrade, and then there's the ten extra dollars you pay to get it on PS5. Right. I, I, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not liking that. Okay. But if you, if you've got a PS5 and you already own the base game. Mm-hmm. upgrade it like the they use that ssd to load in quick mm. like they yeah. it, it's like ratchet and clank where they're like oh these guys have they've they've got it really figured out okay so awesome awesome all right so that is uh that is burley's take on the Iki island expansion for the director's cut of ghost of tsushima so this uh, episode of Extra Take is going to going to be going up to uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash the arena underscore podcast for the first two days in early access. And then it will go to our YouTube channels at Expat 2020 Gaming and the Arena Citadel uh, after the first two days in early access. And it will also be going up uh, after early access in audio format to uh, free podcast services. So I uh, hope you can uh, either watch the uh, video or listen to it on uh, free podcast services. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you, Burley, for uh, for doing this with me again. And, no problem. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing that expansion when I get around to it. So, uh, Oh, I, I'm sure you'll love it. I, I, I can't yeah. wait to hear from people. We'd love to hear from people. What did you think of Director's Cut and Inky Island? I, yeah, give us your comments, love, everybody. Love yeah. to hear so uh, to end the episode, we're going to play the uh, the release trailer for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, Iki Island Expansion. So take care, everybody, and we hope you all have a great weekend that's coming up and have a, a, a great time with uh, 
Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut Iki Island Expansion. I'm your host, Expat, along with my co-host, uh, Burley of Burleyman Gaming. We hope to catch you in the next one and our next podcast episode, episode 52 of the Arena Multiplatform Gaming News Podcast is going to be recorded this coming weekend. We're going to be talking about Tokyo Game Show that's going to be coming up and a lot of other stuff that was in the news, the Horizon Zero Dawn story and everything else that happened this Sony week in the world of video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so take care, everybody, and we hope to catch you in the next episode of Extra Take. Peace. Out. Bye, everyone. <laughs>苦しかったのう。のめ。我が先導を務めよう。うちに秘めたる罪を清め、生まれ変わるがよい。心を蝕む病だろ。もし島中に広がったら。